Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Monday to you. My name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. Welcome to this morning's episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning. It's a little bit lighter outside, so I didn't use the flashlight, but now I'm thinking it's dark. I don't know. Does it look dark to you guys? I don't know, but I'm going to just keep going. I'm not going to stop and get the flashlight. We'll just roll with it, all right? So good morning. I hope you had an awesome and amazing weekend. I thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, this morning, what I want to talk about is, um, I don't know if you guys remember a while back, I was reading a book um, by, called The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John C. Maxwell. And um, one of the laws of growth that he talked about was the law of pain. All right, the law of pain, because you see good management of bad experiences is going to lead to growth, right? Because, you know, one thing that we know is that we all are going to have bad experiences, right? Everyone experiences pain. I mean, you can't avoid them. Life is filled with ups and downs. You know, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it works, right? So, you know, many of these situations you can't even control. Now, some you can. They're based on bad choices that you've made or, or you know, things that have just not have gone correctly. But some of the stuff that, that happens to us, some of these bad experiences, some of these painful experiences are things that we just have no control over, you know, like death and, and heartbreak or maybe failing at something that you worked really hard at and just for whatever reason the, the things didn't go the way you wanted, you know, or maybe severe financial hardship. Maybe you got laid off and, you know, just due to budget cuts, not due to anything that you did wrong. You know, so a lot of times we cannot control these bad experiences and they're painful. You know, they can be stressful. You know, they can even lead to physical pain because stress can cause physical pain. So so what do we do? I mean, these things are going to happen. So, so what do we do? I mean, nobody likes them, right? Nobody likes bad experiences. Nobody likes when they're in the middle of a, of a struggle, you know. But what I would say to you is just think about what it's going to be like when you come out. You know, right? When you come out of that situation, that test that you were in is going to become your testimony. You know, that's going to become a story that you can share with others that might help other people. You know, when you share what you went through and where you are now, that might inspire somebody. Or those experiences could help you. Because remember at the beginning, I said life is full of ups and downs. So you're always, you know, going to have things that are going to happen. So once you come through a tough situation, when you get put into another one, you can use the last one as motivation to push through. You know, you can say, well, I've been down before. I've been in a struggle before and I was able to come out and that can encourage you as well. So even though you can't control bad experiences and even though you don't like them, it's how it's all about how you handle them. Right. Which that kind of brings me to, to the next thing I want to talk about is, you know, very few people will turn bad experiences into positive ones, which is. You know, which is, is sad because it's they're going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. So you have to choose, right? You have to choose what you do with that experience, right? I mean, when life's difficulties come your way, they're going to change you. They're not going to allow you to stay the same. So you have to decide, you know, are, what direction you're going to let these experiences take you. You know, are you going to let them move you forwards or are you going to let them move you backwards, right? Are you going to let them make you bitter or are you going to make are you going to let them make you better right are you going to let bad experiences limit you or are you going to let those experiences lead you in another direction right because like i said bad things happen to us all but it's not about what happens to you in life it's about how you handle it right it's about what you choose to do about it right so why am I talking about this on a Monday, right? It's Monday. You know, I know some of y'all are like, look, it's Monday. I need some motivation. I'm not feeling this, right? Y'all want like a feel-good situation, and I'm talking about pain, and I'm talking about bad experiences. Why? Why? Because I'm talking about how to turn these bad experiences into positive ones, right? Because there's somebody that's watching this today that has been going through something. There's somebody that's watching this today that has been down. You know, you've been depressed. You've been having a pity party. And today, on this Monday, this is the day for you to say, am I going to go another week feeling like this? Or is this going to be the week I turn it around? Because I know a lot of people like to start things at the beginning of the week. You know, whether you think that's Monday or Sunday, a lot of times somebody could get a good idea on Wednesday, but they say, I'm going to start Monday. So that's why we're talking about this today. So you can make a decision today to push through 
whatever this situation is that you're going through. So you can make a, a decision today to let this situation be a positive thing rather than a negative thing. So that's why we're talking about this today. And, and tomorrow, we're going to talk about maybe some ways that you can do that, all right? So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I so much appreciate you guys tuning in to me today. And some of you guys that I see on here, y'all are here every single day, and I appreciate that. So I hope you receive value from this message. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and share so other people can benefit from this information as well. Also, I know some of you guys reached out asking about that call that I did on Friday because you missed it. The replay is up if you go to www.scottbent.com. That's on SoundCloud for those of you guys who want to go back and check that out. All right. So look, like I said, that's all I got. It's Monday. I want y'all to go out there and have an awesome and amazing day. So y'all get off of Facebook and y'all get out there and be great on purpose because I know you can do it. I believe in you and I'm rooting for you. All right. So y'all have an awesome and amazing Monday. Good morning. Good morning, Precious. Good morning, Leroy. Good morning, India. Anybody else that might be on that may not have, uh, I may not be able to see. I appreciate y'all as well. Now, y'all get out there and make it an awesome and amazing day. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.